She's pregnant again. I'll tell you what, why don't we bring Renee out and hear what she has to say. Renee, come on up. That's my business, not yours. Now, Renee. I do have respect for myself. If you have respect for yourself, you be quiet. Renee, you've listened to your mother backstage. You know your mother is, I, I don't know whether it's anger, but I've never seen such a sad mom. And apparently you've done it to her. I take Renee responsibility for all her. my actions, okay? I take Why care of my daughter. For him? I d Why don't with you what pay money? for Can I get a job first? Thank you. Why don't you pay for You're them? Stop getting pregnant, you can get a job. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Seventeen years old, mm -hmm. and you are pregnant, mm -hmm. and you have a child already. I'm are you are you are one. you going to school? No. Are you with the child's father? No. Are you doing anything responsible for yourself yeah. at all? Yeah. No. I don't think so, girlfriend. Yeah. Because if you're seventeen years old, have a child, and you may have another one. That ain't even close to. I'm not having another one. Okay. Yeah, okay, that's what we all say. I'm 17 years old and I have a child and my son's father is dead. He we have been together for three long, I'm not hard, struggling one. years. Okay? I am not having another you one need I can hardly take, take care a, of the you first need to one. Do what okay, you so need to do. Tired you need to go. Now. I'm not even close to tired, okay? Because I'm taking care of mine, okay? Wait a minute. And I'm not going to take care of mine Harry, okay? Suzanne, yeah. Suzanne, what is she saying? She's not gonna have are you pregnant? Yeah, but I'm not having it. What are you gonna What are you gonna do? And one of my options. How long have you been? How pregnant are you? Twelve weeks. Three months. Twelve weeks. Three months. I don't uh, approve of that kind of thing. So I don't know whether you uh, what. Uh, is it possible for you to have an abortion at twelve weeks? When I was gonna get it done, but I had to come out here. I'm Renee, you next said Monday, Ms. Nosey. you blame your mother for things that she's put you through, and you're paying her back. That's why you're acting. Why are you paying your mother back? If she knew, she had one too many chances to leave the man that she married, but no, she takes me, my brother, and my sister along for her little ride with her man, uh, throwing her across the room, throwing her hand to doors, everything else. I looked at him saying, oh, it's okay to do that to mom. That's why I hit you back. Oh. In other words, this man beat up on your mother, so you feel it's all right for you to be. And I'm, I'm standing up. Let's, uh, let's hear from Shanita. Shanita, come on out. What in heaven's name would possess you at 11 years old to steal a car? Nothing to do. Why did you do it? Why did you do it? Shut up. Uh, uh, hey. Oh, hey. Shanita, uh -uh. what is happening with you? Explain. Nothing. You've been expelled from school. What do you mean nothing? You've been expelled from school. You have a police record. You've been handcuffed. You're going to juvenile court in two days. Mm -hmm. Yet you think you're 13 and old Actually, enough to tomorrow. take care of yourself? Yeah. What are you doing? Why, why is this? Because I, I can't stand her. She, she, I mean, it's like, but she's hungry right now. No, I'm not. You know, she's hungry right now. Without no, me, not. she wouldn't be eating. Yeah. You know, without me, she wouldn't have no, no. clothes. When I was without still me, she I wouldn't have fine. nothing. When I was what still, is, when I was doing fine Janita, with the bomb, you don't call police, have Your me. mother was talking. Tell us your side. Um, well, my side is that I can make it on my own. I don't need her. And yeah, right. Janita, sweetheart, I got a question for you. What do you What do you want? your future to be like with a track record like this. What do you want? You want to become a carjack or something for the rest of your life? No, I just so want to stay up? away from her. Huh? I just don't want to be around her. So what so. What you want for your future? That's what I want to know. Well, at first I wanted to be an anesthesiologist. Oh, I'm sorry. I feel sorry for that, man. So. Get, a, get an education, sweetheart, because you need it. That's right. Listen to this young man. Look at your daughter. 
and tell her what's in your heart. But you only have one life to live. She's, she's, you can you be. You talk in, to her. You can be. You, I want you to meet Denise and her 14-year-old daughter, Amy. Denise says she has been to hell and back with Amy, and she has reached a breaking point last year, finally kicked Amy out of her house and sent her to live with her dad. Now Amy is ready to come home again to mom. And mom says, you're going to do this, but you're scared to death. Why, mom? Because I want to know that her coming back is because she has realized what she has done, that she's sorry for some of the things she's done, and that I don't want to have to go back through dealing with behaviors in school, being suspended, being kicked out of school um, every day. I worked for the school system that she was attending, so these were with people I worked with as oh. well. Um, Listen to this list. You uh, finally said she's got to take her husband, your husband has to take the daughter. She was arrested when she was 12 for assault and harassment and fighting a girl in school, correct? Yes. Ran away from home three times. Ran away the first time with a friend and stayed with a boy for five days. Oh. The boy was 18 years old. No, wait a minute, hold on. He, he, I wasn't the one, I was staying at his house, but it was my friend that was with him. It was her boyfriend, I was there. Okay. It was her friend. It, w it was her friend who knew them, and he harbored these girls. Her dad had been there. The police had been there. We had been to that house every day for five days, and when they picked these girls up, this boy knew. He was told ahead of time that if we found out the girls had been with them, we would press charges. We would follow through. Um, in May, just a few weeks back, it finally came to trial and was sentenced. He's doing a year in jail now. Good. You realize that not only has he gotten you in trouble, but you've gotten a young man a record. According to your mother, you drink, smoke, smoke pot, have sex, talk to men in jail, and are going back and forth between your mother and your father, get in trouble in school, almost beat up a boy last week, got caught with a razor blade. What, what's going on here, young lady? Well, with the razor blade, it was... ...from her school that he says was like a wake-up call that something was going wrong with Stephanie. Steve, what happened? Well, uh, like you stated, she was perfect. And uh, I thought that I knew all of the things that she could possibly do because I had problems in my childhood. And uh, I get a phone call, and uh, they want to talk to me at her school. And uh, my wife went out to the school. I went to the school and uh, walked in, and I said, what's going on? And uh, the counselor at the school told me, well, please come in here. And I went in and sat down in the counselor's office, and then two police officers oh. came in. And they said that my daughter was involved in an attempted assault, possibly murder. Mm. Murder. Mm. Can you explain to me what uh, went on? Well, the, uh, the... What did they tell you? She went to a skating party, started hanging out with a guy in a gang named... And he would call the house, and you'd answer, and he'd use profanities? Uh, well, it didn't happen exactly that way. Uh, we were told about the incident at school, and uh, then we put two and two together and figured out and asked Steph, and she told us the truth, that she had met somebody at the skating rink and uh, told him that she was, told this kid that she was upset with somebody at school. And somehow it just got out of control. And uh, what I got from it was uh, that she was gonna lead this kid out a different door at school so they could talk to him or beat him up. And uh, evidently the police found a gun Stephanie, you're going to murder somebody at school? I had no plan to have them murdered or anything. What was your plan to have them done? The only thing they were supposed to do... Families in crisis. Mm -hmm. How did the parents lose control? Well, I think what has happened is I'd like to just quickly take it first from the parents' point of view and then from, from their children's point of view. I think from the parents' point of view, the stories that we have heard clearly give us an indication that whatever happened in their own personal lives, there was a problem. There was a problem in the marriage. There was a problem in their own life. 
and they did the best that they could, not perfect, to try to resolve it. The children or were the recipients watching how the parents so-called solved the problem. They did the best that they could with what they had. Their focus then was to their children, don't do what I did, make a better life. The children watching from a young age, I believe, in some cases are trying to say, you didn't solve your problem, you just made it that I now would have to live with your problem. And so what we're seeing is, I think in some ways, clear retaliation, anger against anger, and what happens is an eye for an eye does not work. I'd like to also give an image of what out of control means. If we're in a car and the car's going down the highway at 90 miles an hour and the driver takes their hands off the wheels, that's what out of control looks like. There will be damage to a house. There will be damage to a life, an unwanted pregnancy. There will be damage to families, broken feelings, no communication. There will be a death. It, it, because out of control means no direction, no point A to point B for success, health, and happiness. And that's what we must address, to get back a direction for these lives in, in ways of learning how to solve problems and live with solutions and not problems. Let's talk about each case when we return.